Hey guys, welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to install JDK 21 on your Windows machine. So why JDK 21? Because uh, JDK 21 is the LTS version. So when I say LTS version, you see it is means it is long term supported version or uh, is usually used in the organization, right? So uh, to install JDK, first of all, you need to go to the Google and here first of all if you check for the LTS version right so it's a JDK LTS versions then uh, if I go to the Oracle then here you can see uh, Oracle has so many releases so Java 8 right that's the basically LTS version uh, that uh, extended support is up to 2030 then 910 was non LTS support so usually Java releases are uh, uh, basically uh, version uh, in each uh, basically a new version in the each six months right so after Java 8 9 and 10 was non LTS right so mm, probably they release a few features but they finalize uh, in the next LTS version so whatever feature was released in the 9 10 right that was fridge that was basically uh, uh, that was uh, uh, basically released uh, as a final release in the uh, 11 or uh, JDK 11 or uh, LTS uh, uh, that's long term support right and uh, of course uh, if I talk about the J uh, Java 11 that is sub so, I mean LTS support is uh, available 2032 similarly if you look into the after uh, Java 11 uh, Java 17 is the LTS and uh, finally java 21 i mean jdk 21 is the lts support and after that uh, they have planned to release lts uh, i mean uh, jdk 25 and they have planned in, uh, to release in the uh, basically uh, uh, somewhere in the september uh, you know next year 2025 so as of now all right uh, as of now uh, today is uh, like i mean today is uh, you know uh, uh, today is uh, 9, I mean 8th September 2024 so as of now this is the LTS uh, uh, latest version right long term supported that usually uh, uh, in most of the organization basically use LTS uh, JDK only they do not uh, basically use non LTS right so if your organization currently using Java 8 and they want to move on the next release next LTS supported then they can move on the either Java 11 or Java 17 or Java 21 so so let's see how to install Java I mean uh, JDK 21 so here you need to go to the Google and here you can type uh, download Oracle JDK right and this is the very first link uh, that's the Oracle official website click over there you will be navigated on the Java downloads so basically page and here if you scroll down then JDK 21 just select click on this tab and you have a various tab for you know for different operating system I want to install uh, JDK 21 for Windows so I'm just clicking on the Windows and here on here you can see uh, uh, Windows uh, 64 bits right uh, installer is available so just click over here uh, size is almost uh, 164 MB so just click over here so download has started download would take uh, hardly a few seconds right that also depends on your internet speed so uh, also once the download completes then I will proceed for installation yeah so download is almost uh, completed and double click on this now it is asking for permission say yes now uh, click on the next now uh, I mean JDK 21 is going to install in uh, program files uh, within that it would create the Java folder and within that JDK 21 will get installed so this is the basically you know uh, default path is going to select if you want to install on some other uh, path then click on the change you can change the path as well but I want to stick with the default uh, location after that just click on the next now installation is in progress installation would take few seconds again so just wait for completion so you can see uh, uh, th this is Java uh, AC development software development kit uh, 21.04 right and that's 64 so installation is completed just click on the OK, uh, close 
and let me verify whether it got installed in uh, C drive or not, uh, program files or not. So go to the C drive, program files and here you can see uh, while installation right, Java folder got created and within that you have a JDK 21. Now I am going to set the path right, so path is the location of bin, so just copy this uh, uh, location or path and uh, go to the environment variable of your computer, so here make sure that you have selected advanced tab and below that you have a environment variable click over here you have a two sections one is user variable and second is the system variables so if you set a variable a path variable in the user section then that path is only valid for that user only right and if you set a path in the system variables then that would be valid for all the users those are getting uh, basically uh, logging into this system right so I'm going to uh, basically uh, set a path in the user uh, variable section so I click on the news here uh, path name you have to give just path and path uh, variable value you can just paste this location right click on the ok then ok I again finally click on the ok now you need to check whether this path got set or not so just you need to open the command prompt and here you need to write Java hyphen hyphen or hyphen V version right so here you can see Java version 2004 right and that this is this is LTS right long term supported JDK. So that's all I wanted to discuss or I wanted to show in this video tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day.